Well, I am kind of a music junkie. Whenever I listen to music, I tend to analyze lyrics to the point of exhaustion, just to uncover the references and gems hidden among them. I think that because I pay such close attention to words, I wanted to play around with them myself. I also naturally excelled in the realm of English in school, so I've generally always known that I loved writing and poetry. Some of my favorite lyricists include Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day, Kurt Cobain of Nirvana, Rivers Cuomo of Weezer, Kim Deal of The Pixies and The Breeders, Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin, and John Lennon of The Beatles. As far as authors go, Sylvia Plath is my all-time favorite. The bell jar changed my life. Each of these artists have, at one point or another, practically put a pen in my hand and forced me to start writing. I prepared a poem for you today, actually. This one's a self-portrait. I am the cherry-stained beret conscientiously sitting on top of a brunette's stringy hair and the jet black lip stain worn on the punk, smudged and creasing into the minuscule folds of her lips, which whisper the mollifying secrets into pierced ears, and I am the handwriting of my neighbor, scribbling mixtures of letters in a black moleskin journal, whilst waiting for the A train in the depths of the subway station at 4.30 p.m. I am the sound of a Persian cat fixing itself into place by the windowsill to watch the afternoon sun showers, and the electrical tinnitus with a persistent ringing in your uncle's delicate eardrum as he fails to permeate the amplifier with the cord to his Fender Stratocaster. I am the forest green vines on an old-fashioned building which intertwine like lovers' limbs and the stolen kisses of teenagers hidden in a Burger King parking lot. I am the non-dairy creamer swirled within a mug of chai tea, warming the fingertips of its holder and simultaneously the vanilla sweetening in a Dr. Pepper, altering, for the better, its natural state and taste. I am everything that you may want, but nothing that you may need, all at the same time. The vignettes of memories that fade in and out of focus as you drift to sleep after a fingernail-biting escapade. The blood seeping from your cuticles, staining your pale sheets with crimson. The reason why I feel so comfortable with presenting my writing actually has a lot to do with where I live in college. I've never felt like I've had a niche or a place to call my own in high school. I was a wallflower, an introvert who never found her way, until I came to college and found Demarest Hall on College Avenue. Demarest Hall, as Pulitzer Prize winner Juno Diaz puts it, is home of the weirdos and losers and freaks and fembots. We are made up of punks, dorks, unconventional people who stand together in the face of conformity and give it the middle finger. We look like we are just out of a 90s movie, dressing and acting as one did 30 years ago. We feel things deeply, we think things thoroughly, we love unconditionally. The confines of Demarest Hall keep me warm at night. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Thank you, Demarest, for teaching me the beauty and the unique, for helping me believe in art and music, and for giving me a place to produce poetry that I will one day compile into a portfolio. I will always remember you.